St. Clair of Montefalco, 268, August 18, 1308. Also known as St. Clair of the Cross, was a beacon of faith and devotion, guiding others to choose the way of God. Before embracing her calling as an Augustinian nun and abbess, Claire was a dedicated member of the Third Order of St. Francis. Born into a prosperous family, Claire's father, Damiano, built a hermitage in Montefalco. At the tender age of six, Claire joined the Third Order of St. Francis, adopting the Franciscan habit and beginning her journey of faith. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. In 1290, Claire made her solemn vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience, becoming an Augustinian nun. Despite her initial reluctance, she was elected abbess on November 22, 1291, and accepted the role with humility and grace. During the Epiphany celebration in 1294, Claire experienced a profound spiritual ecstasy after a heartfelt confession. She remained in this state for several weeks, sustained by her fellow nuns with sugar water. During this time, Claire had a vision of being judged before God and another of Jesus as a weary traveler burdened by the cross. When she asked Jesus, My Lord, where art thou going? He replied, I have looked all over the world for a strong place to plant this cross firmly, and I have not found any. Claire, moved by her desire to help, reached for the cross. Jesus then said, Claire, I have found a place for my cross here. I have finally found someone to whom I can trust mine cross, and he implanted it in her heart. Claire's vision and her unwavering faith in it led her to a life of pain and suffering, yet she continued to serve joyfully as abbess, teacher, mother, and spiritual guide. Her wisdom and holiness attracted many to the Monastery of the Holy Cross, where she skillfully managed the community without disrupting its harmony. By August 1308, Claire's health had deteriorated, and she was bedridden. On August 15th, she received extreme unction, made her last confession, and passed away at around 40 years old. After her death, Claire's heart was removed and found to contain symbols of Christ's passion, a crucifix, and a scourge. She was beatified by Pope Clement XII on April 13, 1737, and canonized by Pope Leo XIII on December 8, 1881. St. Clair's life exemplifies the words of Jesus in Matthew 16, 24. If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Her unwavering faith and dedication also reflect the spirit of Philippians 4, 13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. May St. Clair's story inspire us to carry our crosses with faith and joy trusting in God's plan for our lives. May God answer our prayers and bless us in Jesus Christ's name. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.